Rustic, dated, old fashioned. Those are just a few words to describe the buildings, the businesses, and even the people around here. It's the historic Gold Rush town with a whole lot of character. John Bartell here, making a little pit stop in Columbia State Park. Well, you don't need a stagecoach to get through Tuolumne County, but as soon as you exit Highway 49 into Columbia, California, a stagecoach might just pick you up. It doesn't seem like it's changed a whole lot. It hasn't changed one iota. Ticket taker Dave Kelly rides the stagecoach into Columbia every day. According to him, there's not traffic, but there are bandits. You never know when you're going to get held up. Isn't that the truth, Dave? Get your hands up! Both Dave and the coach driver lost their coin purse. Lucky for me, though, TV reporters don't make a whole lot of money. I got a credit card with a lot of uh, debt on I it. I don't know what that is. Well, if you do make it into town with money, park interpreter Kelly League will tell you why there's so many bandits here and why I should have just stayed in the parking lot. This was actually the biggest gold find in California within our, in our town in our parking lot. Gold was discovered in Columbia back in 1850. Then a town of 5,000 was practically built overnight. By the 1860s, miners pulled more than $87 million worth of gold out of here. But the rumor and what went back east was that if you coated your body in bear grease, you could roll down the hill and you would be covered with gold dust. By 1945, gold in Columbia had been picked clean. To avoid turning into a ghost town, residents gave the land to state parks under one condition, the community's gold rush history be preserved. Today, the blacksmith shop, the old printing press, and even the candy shop operate the same way they did when they first opened. And it's been in my family for just about a little under 90 years now. So much has not changed in Columbia that a resident ghost from the past never left the Fallon Hotel. You know, our housekeepers have said that they have seen him when they were cleaning the rooms. He would peep in the door and peep out. Gold may have brought people to Columbia, but history has kept it alive. And in the case for this boom town, change is not a good thing. From the historic streets of Columbia State Park, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.